my name is Tom Kringle and I'm a landscape artist and also I teach art. While we're all stuck at home and self-isolating, I thought I'd put together some short videos in which I hope people, you, can learn more about art, doing art and basically have some fun. These videos are basically standalone, so you can dip in and out and kind of learn what you want. But I hope that if you follow the order of the videos, you'll learn more, gain more confidence and find more new skills and perhaps wake up the artist you already have inside of you. I hope to keep the posts and the sessions uh, coming regularly. So um, keep, you know, keep in touch, subscribe and keep sort of a view of what we're doing. Uh, the materials you need will be basic and we'll start with a pencil and a piece of paper. And so hopefully if you want to carry on, go to the next session and we'll uh, start. Thank you. Right, this is session one. This is what I call doodling and scribbling. It's basically a warm-up exercise or and it's basically very simple. It's, it's straightforward. Okay, right, simply you get a piece of paper. I'm using cartridge paper, but you can use fax paper or whatever, or, sorry, photocopy of paper. Uh, shows my age there. Right, and you get a pencil. I use, uh, ideally you've got a 4B or, or a higher B. The numbers refer to the fact that the higher the number, as in 4, 5, 6, the, the darker the lead or the softer the, uh, the, the, the lead, so it makes more marks. Uh, and if you go the other way, an H pencil is harder. Anyway, don't have to worry about that yet. Right, now the process of this exercise is to let the pencil wander around the paper. Let your mind wander too, let yourself be free. See what shapes appear, connect the shapes, add more. Imagine you're on the phone and listen to someone droning on, a bit like I am, and you have a pencil in one hand and paper in the other, and you, you literally scribble and doodle without paying any attention. That is kind of the whole point of the exercise, okay? Anyway, after a while, stop and see what you've produced, and we'll go from there. Okay, the point of this exercise is to understand that you can all make marks on a piece of paper. You can all draw, basically. Everyone can draw. Everyone can make marks on a piece of paper. Now, I've used pen in places. You know, if you have a pen, have a go. If you've got some colour, have some colour. Um, use different grades of pencils. As I said earlier, use a 4B or a, an H to try different things. Try different ways of shading. But just by sitting here and experimenting, you can draw. Okay? Everyone can draw. Okay. So now, you can repeat this exercise or leave it. But I, I think of something like this, and I sometimes do in some of my classes, I get them, the people to do this as a kind of warm-up exercise. It's like you're doing uh, stretches before you literally do something harder. But, we, you know, now you've kind of grasped this, practice it again or leave it and move on. But then in the next session, I want to introduce my favourite type of drawing, which I think is a, a really important step or in, in moving forward, and that's taking this into continuous line drawing. 